driving to Lorraine on this smoky road. As you can see, there's been a bunch of fires happening around Oregon and in California. And like 90 minutes away from here, a whole like a bunch of towns have been burning to ashes. Even friends, businesses, and homes have been burn, burned down. So we got all this smoke because we are on fire. We got a bunch of fire happening. And yeah, I definitely blame controlled fire happenings. They out of, like, accidentally could go out of control by the same fire department. And also the uh, weapons, you know, these strong, super huge lasers that can literally start fires. And I also blame the chemtrails for laying out a bunch of metals, toxic alum aluminum, barium, and all these different toxins, you know, that stays on the trees that makes it easier, you know, more flammable. And at the same time, like, it makes the air condensate, so all the moisture and the water, you know, condensates, and then it rains for days. And then leaves extra dryness for other days. So we're fucking the whole system up. We are making rain in more places than we dehydrate in other places. You know, and like it's insane. Like once you really observe and pay attention to the flow, you see it clearly. Like it's insane. And mostly when you know there is so many technologies out there that's not available for us, but the US military does have it. You know, there's freaking they can shoot with lasers, you know, and and shoot anything on the air if they want to. And you can find all these amazing researches on uh, how do they call it? Weapons, weapons, weapons. I forgot about it. I was just checking on it just now, but uh, controlled weapons, you know, military weapons that you can see and specifically with lasers and you can see all these like researches they've, they've done on the air and using satellites and using all these other different harp. So many, so many, so many new technologies. So just check it out. Yeah, it's so good to know. Anyway, so talking about life in general, holy Jesus Christ, why is it all insane right now? Right now we got seven planets in retrograde as I was reading. Mars just went on retrograde today and that uh, is in Aries and that uh, is also Mercury that going went in retrograde today. I forgot what it was. I know Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, they were all in retrograde. Pluto was in retrograde too. All these planets in retrograde. So, I mean, that makes sense why everything is going insane right now. And it's part of the ascension, you know? We have to go deep down, restart from the ashes, literally, so that we can move forward with strong, clear vision, just straight up. Strong, clear vision, where you're going, where you're heading to, what's what you're manifesting, how are you changing your life habits, lifestyle that is actually in harmony with yourself and the rest of the fucking world. Everything needs to be in harmony. Your mind, your heart, your relationships, everything, the way you're eating. We're all paying a toll for the way we've been living. We're all of it. Like, check it out. We're destroying this freaking world. So freaking, oh my gosh. And as a healer and as a person, a, a gatekeeper for these other ancient ways, you know, like, I am called to, I am called just to freaking continue sharing what it is that I'm here to do, which is just assess people on their healing. I don't do their healing. They, everybody got to do it themselves. Everybody got to go do it themselves. And sometimes it just takes somebody to be there for them, to guide them, lead them the way, and just give them the okay. And that's it. So as, as, as a person that facilitates healing, 
with others, you know, which is such a beautiful space when we're crying together, we're laughing, we're sharing or mourning, you know, or losses or gains. It's a humble position that I'm in and, you know, and I also want to live my life with coherence, you know, because we're all here to do, we teach with an example and teaching with example means everything needs to be in harmony in your life too you know and it's just kind of like insane that, that my relationship my my closest relationship I got issues with them bro shit like they're so stressful sometimes that I don't even get it like I don't even get it like what and I see them playing like their own movies and for real it's smoking us freaking out over here it's so smoky like it's smoky as if look at all that smoke wow it's insane it's a lot of smoke it's a lot of smoke living in the fire season is crazy Yeah, being a mom, staying grounded, keeping your household, not worrying about everything, and then just freaking continue the growth, you know, what's, what are other tools that you need to know to continue your growth, because if we're just distracted and all this drama, we're not making any changes, we're doing the opposite, we're not doing our yoga, we're not doing our breathing, we're just freaking out, right, so, and that's what we don't want to do, we don't want to be in the panic, anxiety, fear mode because that's exactly where they want us and once you're there yes buddy bye bye tractor my night mass i don't see mass tractors oh my god it's smoky lots of smoke mucho fuego fire fire anyway breathing It's all energy. All of it. Whatever it is that's triggering on you is still energy. So we want to make sure that that energy is moving around. It's just not it's storing in our bodies. It's not staying in one place. It's moving around. So how do we move the energy? We have to, for to start with, we have to move around. We want the energy to move. We have to move physically. We want to ground out. We want to ground in our body have to get in our body we have to exercise if we want to get in touch with our hearts with our minds we close our eyes you know it's like you're going to sleep one hour early and you just reflect in whatever your mind is doing and that's it let it be no judgment no nothing just let it be it's simple it's easy and you can continue doing this every time you go to sleep simple and even if you get really good at becoming conscious in your own mind you can definitely continue being conscious in your dream world and wake up in your dream and see what your dreams are about and the processes that you're doing in your dreams we never end working on ourselves doesn't matter when you wake up when you wake up again you know like you constantly are waking up and on these realities and these dreams we're never ending never ending we're gonna continue 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 being conscious and even though we're not aware sometimes we're still working and processing experiences and whatever it is that we're going constant spirits always telling us where to go guiding us sending us messages here and there making us aware of what's happening and what's needed right now prayers 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 diets cleanses fully healing self healing and I know I gotta do that for myself better too like sometimes I'm reckless with my own self and I can tell I enter like a self-destruction phase for whatever it is that the collective is feeling and it waits me out and I'm so happy that at least I got tools to pray you know reminders to use prayers 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 the fire the water the elements you know all the directions from all the directions to stay protected to stay guided to stay beautiful like this is crazy times for sure but i know better are coming you know 
we're here, we're coming back, and we're gonna continue reincarnating into the same earth until we learn how to treat it properly. So you better you just start doing what you need to learn now, now, how you need to continue being in harmony with yourself and the earth, how you continue, how you continue managing your own consciousness and your sexuality and your energy in itself, how you continue creating your superpowers with your minds, with your hearts, with all aligned, you know, it's all one, and the more you do for yourself, the more you do for others, we are in this path of self-mastery, and continue giving, 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 giving that love that needs to be given, yeah, all right, good night, you guys, Enjoy this beautiful rest and may all these people that gone through so much these past few days with all these fires feel some relief, feel some something transforming in their hearts, in their minds for the greater good of all beings, you know, may all these fires not be in vain and help really, really, really burn all the anger, all the fear, all these negative things are not letting us continue moving forward. So thank you, thank you, Fire, for everything, all the lessons that were you're teaching us. Thank you for learning, teaching us how to continue transforming and just continue taking care of our bodies, you know, because everything is a reflection of ourselves. And if we take the environment for granted, we're taking ourselves for granted. Okay, peace. And I show that for all the indigenous people that keep the traditions alive. Please stop judging them and stop criticizing them. And instead, just really sit down, close your eyes, and listen to what they have to say. YouTube, native um, tales. You know, listen, 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 listen to what the elders really have to say. You know, where we're coming from, what are the tales, all these energies that are influencing this life humans are just only one little small part of this whole existence and there's so much more playing a part in all this and the more you're becoming aware of all these energies the better you are the guided them you are you know the more protected you are you know and empowered you are yep much love and invoke 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 all your ancestors to continue guiding you invoke all of everything that needs to be around you supporting you spiritual guides animals to continue sending the prayers and the guidance thank you so much guys i love you bye